Hi Tauruses, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. I'm doing a general spread for you today. I am going to look at something you've recently been through. If it sounds like your situation, this is your reading. This is good for all placements for the sign of Taurus. I'll be looking at the crossing energies. If you aren't dealing with anyone, you can bypass that. There is a timestamp. And then the incoming energies for the next few weeks. I'm gonna get started right now. Okay, spirit guides. A few cards for the sign of Taurus, their current strongest energies that this reading is for. For the sign of Taurus, what do you want to show me for their strongest current energies? One more card, please, for the sign of Taurus. They gave you two more cards. Mm. I'll put my readers on for this one. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving it already. I have fork in the road. I see this card. That's why I said that. Fork in the road. Current strongest energies. Which direction am I going to go? I'm kind of stuck here. I'm not really sure what's going to lay down or be down that road for me. That's what I feel. Because, I mean, look at the arrows and the buck. You know, do I go that way? Do I go this way? And then I have Go the Distance, Taurus. And I have one more card. Uh oh, I have Chop Wood. It's time to start chopping something up. It's very earthy energy, Chop Wood. And I feel, because that is what I do, I feel that right now in your current energies, you're just not sure which direction to go. Do I want to go back to something that I was once happy with? Should I go in a new direction for my happiness? Fork in the road, have touch, please. But I have go the distance. It's telling me to tell you to wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Because what they really want me to tell you with that wait is chop some wood up. And that means start getting rid of some stuff. I feel, that's how I go, about the, the things and people that just are not being healthy for you. Chop wood. Time to get busy. Go the distance and you'll get out of that fork in the road. Okay, I'm going to look at something you've recently been through. These energies can be moved around. This is general. Spirit guide, strongest energies that this reading is for. For the sign of Taurus, something they've recently been through. Please. What do you want to show me? Something my Tauruses have recently been through, please. Oh, they want to jump. Show me, wow, oh my goodness. Show me something my Tauruses have recently been through. The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Earth, Taurus. That's the queen who has fought so hard to achieve everything that queen has, whether you're male or female. Holding on to your self-worth, your stability, your money. Being intuitive, being a very nurturing energy, the queen of earth. That is beautiful. I just like the way that card popped out. Okay, spare guides. Something my Taurus is, thank you, <laughs> has recently gone through that this reading is for. Thank you. For the sign of Taurus. Show me there's something they've recently gone through. Thank you. Thank you. That this reading is for. For the sign of Taurus. That's the last card and I can't see it. Who's on my lap? Oh, here it is right here in front of me. Look at this. I got a golden opportunity recently in the past and here it is. Fork in the road with the Ten of Wands. Time to chop some wood, Taurus, recently in the past. And then I have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Earth. Oh, I felt a lot from that one. Golden opportunity recently in the past. Oh, it looked so good. It looked like a golden opportunity. Something you've been hoping for. That's what I really feel, actually. I do have a fork in the road. We have it in your current energies. Uh, this is at a crossroads about things in your life, people in your life, situations in your life. The only way to get that blindfold off, Taurus, is, is by um, what is going to serve you for your highest good? Which direction? Because you have fork in the road. I see it right here. And then I have... Ten of Wands, that burden recently in the past. Oh, that weight. That's why you got chopped wood. I told you, time to start getting rid of some dead weight here. 
dead wood. I do have the star showing up recently in the past. Big Aquarius energy. Healing. Never losing hope and faith. I have it with big temperance showing up. Sagittarius energy. And that is about the patience you've had to try to balance and blend and make everything work for you. I have the three of pentacles. Look who is right in front of me. The three of getting to the triangle of stability because Taurus, I have you showing up right in front of me. You know, and that's very grounded energy, the Hierophant. It's like you're determined to get to something, to get to that triangle of stability, whether it be with a job, your finances, a person. I have the Wheel of Fortune. My energy start to roll in. My cards are given to me how I am supposed to receive them. The Wheel of Fortune is the major arcana, my favorite major arcana, one of them. You know, change, destiny, everything is being aligned to change in your favor. The last card I could not see is, ooh, I have the Emperor in reverse. That's somebody who is very manipulative, a narcissist, all about them, 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 them. Someone who is not a very good energy around you. And I feel that with the Wheel of Fortune, things are going to change in your favor. But you need to lay down some wands. You need to chop some wood. Go the distance. Fork in the road. Fork in the road. Which one's going to serve you for your highest good? You're right here. For your highest good, Taurus, the Hierophant, you. Earthy energy of getting to that higher level of commitment to something, faith to something, institution, job, marriage, whatever. Change in your favor. I think we just need to give somebody the boot or something the boot, a boss type. You know, that's somebody who's not been healthy for you. That's all I'm going to say. Just going to say that. But I'm going to look at the opposing. If you are not dealing with anyone, there is a time stamp in the description box. Spirit guides, crossing energies, please. <laughs> that queen of pentacles popped out in the pre-shuffle, pre and it popped out again in the recent past. That's the queen of you, the queen of grounded stability. You are the king of pentacles. You are the queen of pentacles. You are that top of the shelf, earthy energy. Opposing energies, please. For the sign of Taurus. Tell me about the crossing energies, Mod. Thank you. Taurus has been dealing with. What else do you want to tell me? Thank you. Thank you. About the crossing energies. Crossing my Tauruses. Thank you. Under the deck, I have the Fool and their energy. Zero major arcana about someone who just took off and took a new leap of faith in a new direction. This is, this is something that you're dealing with or you've been dealing with. The Fool, Zero, Major Arcana, Aries slash Aquarius energy, but it's someone who just took a leap of faith. Just, just took off, kind of reckless. I have the Three of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and someone who walked away, the Eight of Cups. That's all I'm going to take. I don't know why I'm stuttering today. <laughs> Eight of Cups, it, this is someone who walked away because they felt there was something about the situation that was not emotionally making them happy. Taking a leap of faith in a different direction. And I have it with the King of Wands. This is very fiery energy, the King of Determination, Leo energy. Okay. And then I have the Three of Pentacles. It was about... Uh, I felt that they felt that working on something to get to the triangle of stability was becoming a weight to this person. I haven't seen all the cards yet. I, I'm just saying that because it's what I feel because I have the eight of cups and then the fool just leaping. I mean, literally, like, if you can see the cards the way I'm looking at them, like the fool just leaping away from that something that they just walked away from something and went in a whole different direction. Let's take a little look. I have the four swords. This is someone who's been taking a big time out. Four swords is laying down the heart and the mind. Like they don't want, they, they don't want to really help put a whole lot of energy into something right now. I have the four of wands in reverse. This is someone who thought gateways were going to open and it did not happen. I'm all, I don't know why I said that. 
I have the seven of wands in front of me with that. That is someone who has really been fighting off a lot of things that gateways never opened for. They fought for it. They stood their ground for it. It just didn't happen. And then I have the world and their energies. I feel that the opposing energies is realizing that something is a completion. You know, like either they want to start something new to reverse something that's judgment because judgment is my last card in their energies. I have judgment with the world. This is someone who's judged a situation that they felt was over. And last card out is I have the moon. Ooh, heavy energy. Uh, the moon is someone who's hiding their true intentions, hiding something. Things seem like a bigger illusion to them. You know, when you're in that moon phase, everything is just so foggy. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm going to look at what is coming towards you. Yes, I am. Who do I want to use? Okay, we'll use these. All right, spirit guides. Incoming energies, please, for the sign of Taurus. One shuffle. Incoming. That moon card was the last card. And like I said, my cards are always given to me in the opposing. I'm sorry if you're not dealing with someone. I just have to say this. This is someone who everything around them right now is so foggy. I really do feel that. I think they took a reckless leap and... I don't know. I feel something, but you know, energies change. That's why I do my readings every two weeks. All right, spirit guides incoming energies for my beautiful Tauruses. Two more cards, please. One more. Anything else? Thank you. All right. I have the high priestess of water. That's really tapping into some type of emotion. Tauruses emotion I have it with focus <laughs> this is about tapping in I have one more card this is about tapping into something with a lot of emotion you know that um, I feel with focus here it's about really tapping into what is going to serve you emotionally because the card in front of me is lust you know lust is very tempting could be lust of a person, lust of money, lust of a job that you think you want. That's why it's telling me to tell you to tap into something with emotion. Not thought, not that grounded earth energy, emotion. Mm. And focus, focus on it. Incoming energies. I think you're about to get some type of clearance here. It's what I'm feeling. All right, spirit guides. Clearance to wear. Incoming. Sign of Taurus, please. Clearance to wear. New beginnings. Spirit guides, uh, incoming for the sign of Taurus, please. What do you want to show me? The incoming. Energies, please. For the sign of Taurus, incoming for the next few weeks. Show me why those cards are here. Incoming. Energies for the sign of Taurus. Taurus. Thank you. What else do you want to show me about the incoming energies, please? For the next few weeks? For my Tauruses? Done. Oh, oh. Bottom of the deck. Well, I have the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Ten of Earth. I have it with the Four of Swords. Yeah. And I have the Six of Cups showing up. And I have Strength. And I have Death. And I have the Four of Wands. Gateways will open. Tap into your emotion, Tauruses. That's what I feel immediately. The Ten of Pentacles is about... I have one more card I want to show you. The Ten of Pentacles is about having everything to do with your earthly goods. Four of Swords. That's about taking a time out. Rest, rejuvenate, meditate with the High Priestess of Emotion. Water. Strongest energies incoming. Six of Cups, it's that connection that you cannot deny. It's something you feel completely connected to. It could be a person, a lover, a job. It just feels so right. It's like the shoe that fits. With Strength, Leo, and Scorpio, whoa, a lot of strong energy coming in for you. 
strength and courage to transform what it is that I feel you want. Because I got the Ten of Pentacles with that. I, that's what I feel. Death is here. That's like goodbye old skin. I got the strength and courage. I'm rebirthing something new. And it looks like you're about to get it with the Ten of Pentacles. I do have the beautiful lover showing up. <laughs> that is a divine connection. I have the Seven of Wands. Standing your ground. I still want to show you this card. I have the Four of Pentacles holding on too tight to something, holding back. I have it with the Empress, very nurturing, grounding energy. And then I have the Nine of Wands showing up. Uh, the Empress is very grounded energy of knowing that you're going to harvest what it is that you've been planting. I do have the Nine of Wands showing up. This is the Wounded Warrior and telling me to tell you to stand your ground. Stand your ground. But what I feel from this card is don't hold, don't hold on too tight to something. Because the Four of Pentacles can, can be very rigid, stubborn energy, Taurus, as it shows up in almost all your readings. <laughs> Hey, my other person is a Taurus. I know. You know, beautiful souls, but sometimes you can really get on fixed on a something here. Fixed, holding on too tight to something. The card under the deck was the Ace of Wands, and I have it with the Sun. I just, something just said, hold out on that one. Uh, the Sun, with the incoming energies, the, the cards under the deck are always my strongest energies. The sun, Leo energy with a brand new passionate opportunity. But I do have the Ten of Wands showing up. It's time to lay down some stuff here at Taurus's. It's time to start letting something go that's just been weighing on you. You guys, I have the Seven, I have the Nine, and I have the Completion, the Ten of Wands. Fire energy. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Because the missing card in here would be the Eight of Wands. I mean, come on, Taurus says. What are the odds? I can't. Seven, stand your ground about something. It's something you've been wounded by. Time to let it go. Lay it down because you got something coming towards you. And I believe it is a passionate brand new opportunity, a new beginning, new inspiration, new creativity, and it's going to make you feel good. Because then I have, oh, the Empress. I feel good. <laughs> that's, that's the title of this video. I feel good. Look at this. Seven, eight, nine, ten of wands. That's gonna, you're going to go through that transition so fast. I don't know why I said transition because who's staring at me is Scorpio. Transition. From the things that you've been standing your ground about, the weight. You got some good stuff coming in here. I am going to get a few cards for you. From the Archangel Power Tarot cards. Spirit guides. I really do hear a yes. I know. I think I said that before in other videos. But I, I do that and I just hear yes. <laughs> Spirit guides. A few messages about this reading today. For my beautiful Tauruses. What do you want to tell them? One or two cards about the reading today. For the sign of Taurus. Thank you. One more card, please. Thank you. Where'd you go? All right. Okay. Well, there it is right there. I guess the big message in this reading is fork in the road. I have the two of Michael. <sighs> it will all be better, Taurus, if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. And then I have the eight, the eight of Ariel from my spirit guides for you. I think we finished off with an eight of wands. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. Wow. I feel like it's telling me to tap into something about your emotion to get through a fuck, ooh, fork in the road. <laughs> I don't know where that word was coming from because I guess lust was looking at me. This is about being chained to something with lust in the incoming energies. 
you know, find what is going to serve you for your best. Let's get out of this. Uh, it's time to make a decision. Tap into your emotion. This is what I have for you, Tauruses. If you enjoyed it and it resonated, please remember to like, subscribe if you are not, comment if you like. Thank you to all the Tauruses who have supported my channel. Thank you very much and many blessings to everyone.